All right, the next thing we're going to do is look at different types of energy because we've discovered that energy can come in lots of different forms and you've probably heard of quite a few of these. Let's start with the first one here, which is light energy. And light is, it's called radiation. which is a type of wave that just moves through the air. And we can see light because that radiation moves into our eyes and we can sense that. So light is radiation that moves through the air. And it also moves through space too, as we know, because light moves from the sun and hits earth. And that's why the sun's so bright and that lets everybody see. Another type of common energy that you would have heard of is sound energy. You've literally heard of it. So like a band playing music, like Queen here, sound energy is actually caused by, caused by vibrations that travel through the air or through solid materials. Vibration, vibrations that travel through the air or materials. And we can hear sound because those vibrations travel through the air into our ear and then we can sense and hear. Another type of energy up here is called elastic energy. And this is the energy that when you stretch something like a rubber band here or a spring, then there's energy stored there that can pull that object back together again into its normal shape. So when stretched, an object needs to pull back to its normal shape. pull back to normal and that uses energy to pull back to the normal shape. Here's another type here, anyone who's been bungee jumping, other than the elastic energy of the bungee rope when it stretches, when you're standing at the top and about to jump off the cliff, you have what's called gravitational energy. And that means that when you're standing there, you have the potential to fall down. So we can say that high objects have the ability to fall. And when you're falling, that's using energy until you hit the ground or until you're stopped by a bungee rope, hopefully. Another type of energy down here, if you've ever been to science works, you might have seen these big Tesla coils, and these let us see electricity. Usually electricity is just in wires, but electrical or electricity is a type of energy, so electrical energy, and this type of energy involves charged objects or charged particles moving. That's probably the most simple way to explain it. Another type of energy is a really common one. The proper, na proper name is thermal energy, but that's really just heat. So anything that's hot, it has thermal energy which transfers to a colder object that's nearby. So thermal energy is energy that moves from a hot to a cold object. From hot 
to cold. Okay, another type of energy here, which is what's found in fuels, like petrol, or in coal, is called chemical energy. And this means that the chemicals themselves have energy stored in there that we can use later. And that's what we do with fuels. We use them to power a vehicle or something similar to that. And foods actually have chemical energy stored in them. So chemical is energy stored in chemicals. The last one here, if you've ever seen a nuclear power plant before, this is one in France. We actually don't have any in Australia, but nuclear energy is a final, the final type of energy that we'll look at. And this is energy that's stored inside atoms, which are the smallest whole particles. So chemicals are made up of atoms, and inside those atoms, there's nuclear energy stored.